Ever wonder what to make with those delicious rotisserie chickens? Today I'm going to teach you how to make a very easy and incredibly delicious chicken enchilada casserole. Everyone who's ever tried this recipe is in love. It's to die for. And let me show you how. What makes this enchilada casserole so absolutely delicious is the sauce. And what I do is I start with a store-bought base. Today I'm using La Victoria. You can use whatever you have on hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer in a bunch of different flavors to really bump it up and make it taste like it's been cooking all day. Now we're ready to assemble. We have that beautiful sauce we made in the blender. It smells incredible. I pour a little bit on a plate. I have about six cups of the rotisserie chicken, and this is how you do it. Okay, now that we've lined the bottom of the pan, it's time to add the chicken. So you wanna add about half of the mixture of the chicken because we're only gonna do two layers. To make this dish really nice and creamy, I'm gonna go ahead and add dollops of sour cream. Not a ton, just a little bit. If you don't have a sour cream or if you don't like sour cream, you can use uh, cream cheese here. Works just as well. So after we made the layers, I'm gonna sprinkle on the last bit of cheese on the top. That'll give it that nice, cheesy, melty, crusty, mm, my mouth's starting to water, I'm so hungry. <laughs> uh, after that, we're gonna cover it with foil and we're gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna bake it for about 30 minutes. Now, if you've made this recipe ahead of time and chilled it in the refrigerator, you're gonna to wanna to cook it for an hour. and the camera loves you and go. So while our casserole is finishing up, it's time to prepare the garnishes. I like to use a little bit of green onion and fresh cilantro for mine. So during the break, I was chatting with my daughter Blair, who's watching our one-year-old, and I was trying to inspire her on entrepreneurial babysitting. And I was telling her the story about my first gig. I was 10 years old. I borrowed my sister's sweater from the Gap and I went door knocking door to door, asking for business. So I was trying to inspire my daughter because uh, this little cooking show, I do the cooking, my husband does the videoing, and our 10 year old does the babysitting. It's a family effort. And we actually sit down afterwards and eat the food. Go to your spot. Oh, I have like shit on me, okay. This casserole looks absolutely delicious. We can't wait to dig in. I hope you make this recipe at home. You're going to love it. It's so delicious and super easy to make. Let's try again because I'm spitting. <laughs> <laughs> and if you like what you saw today, please make sure to subscribe. <laughs>